So it's not good. It's, it's horrible. Salvatore Manuli says he saw the coyote roaming in this area of his backyard. Dr. Sandra Andrulis is the chief of animal services in Baltimore County. She says on October 20th, a coyote attacked a man and his dog as they walked at Holt Park. It happened right behind Overly High School. In trying to separate the dog from the coyote, he was uh, inadvertently scratched. That required him to go for rabies shots. The dog had already been vaccinated against rabies. The coyote also bit a student who was running cross country at Overly High School. Police found the coyote the next day and euthanized him. He later tested positive for rabies. Now residents are concerned other wildlife in the area may also be rabbit and are concerned for their pets. I'm in fear because I see some lame fox out here and you don't know what, if, what they could have. Because then they could bring rabies into the house and that would really be horrible. Dr. Andrulis says rabies is transmitted through saliva and bites and the coyote had to have been bitten by another animal that was rabbit. If you see an animal that's acting abnormally, um, ataxic, uncoordinated, or doing something that's really out of character, um, then those are, that's an animal that you should stay away from. Keep an eye on them a lot closer. I don't closer. want nothing to happen to the puppy or my two big dogs, you know? It's awful. Now, something else to look out for when it comes to rabbit animals um, or wildlife, the doctor says that these animals, if they're rabbit, will have a tendency to try to come up close to humans and, and animal and dogs and things like that. And that is, you know, not, that is out of the ordinary and that could be a sign that the animal is rabbit. Also, she says, let this be a reminder to have your pets vaccinated against rabies. Reporting live in Fullerton, Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.